Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and today we're going to talk about the importance of becoming a nonconformist. See, from the moment you were born, you were unwittingly in the process of being indoctrinated into a multi-generational conspiracy that's designed to encourage conformity and to discourage original thought. Almost every institution you've ever come in contact with is self-serving and is conformance. It has manipulation, mediocrity, and control baked into their core. From education and entertainment, from the foods you eat to the music you listen to, from the clothes you wear to the car you drive, from the books you read to the news you watch, and from politics to religion as well, they all work to get you to drink their version of Kool-Aid. They actively and they aggressively work to discourage original thought, uniqueness, individuality, and differentiation. And in my opinion, one of the greatest plagues of mankind is the fear and the rejection of truth. It's the belief that there's only one right way to live, only one right way to learn, and only one right way to regulate religious, political, sexual, financial, and medical affairs. That belief is the rotten fruit of conformance, and it's the root cause of the greatest threat to mankind. Throughout your life, you've been groomed, you've been molded and patterned to fit in the narrow and the self-serving interests of a particular group, company, institution, clothing line, or party. You're being taught by people who have been able to accommodate themselves to a regimen of thought that's been laid down by their predecessors. It's a self-perpetuating system, and it's one that you must resist or the consequences are utterly devastating. One of the greatest regrets in life is the choice of sameness, of being what others would want you to be rather than being yourself. Yet, while the overwhelming majority of people are working hard to conform and fit in, the smart cookies are doing everything they can in order to stand out. They inherently understand that conformity is a sign of weakness, and they choose to live their lives authentically, on their own terms, certainly not on someone else's. Now, you must be careful, I mean very careful, as to what you expose your mind to, and most importantly, do not conform. See, to unleash your greatness, you need to be exposed to the principle of greatness. To expose yourself to whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, and if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, then expose yourself accordingly. So check it out at 100daychallenge.com and make it the very next thing you do.